everyone to another video. My name is Hagon, aka Hags, and today we have bought my new car. I'll be honest, I have purchased this about just over a month ago, so I've had a good run around with it. I've done my long journeys with it, so now I'm properly settled with the car and I'm very happy. I don't usually do these sort of videos, if I'm being honest, so drop a like if you do like more personalised videos about other things, but majority of the time it will be based on poverty. I will also be doing a Q&A near the end of this video, so if you're not so much into talking about cars or anything about cars, then you can skip to that part. This is an E-Class Mercedes, it's a 2 litre and it's a couple of years old because, as we all know, depreciation isn't the greatest thing in the world. And as much as I love cars, the amount of money wasted on it is not really worth it. And the reason why I ended up purchasing this car is because I do so much miles as it is and it's more of a financial thing where I sell a car to buy a car. But going to the history of all the cars I've purchased in the past, I've started off with a C-Class Mercedes, an old school one. It was an absolute beauty. It held its ground, it never gave me problems, it was the best thing ever. And then a year later, I purchased a newer C-Class, uh, the four-door, and again, great car. I've still got it actually till this day because it's more of a practical car and if I need to take some materials and stuff like that to my properties then it's easy to do so and now I am in this car. The colour of it is absolutely beautiful. It's sort of a magnolia, something along those lines. Magnolia gold. I mean it's basically just a gold with speckles in it. Of course you've got the digital dashboard throughout the whole thing, the LED lights, all the gadgets you can think, think of, the pan roof, everything. But let me know down below what you think of the car. You can see all the cinematics as well. What you think of the car, what you think of the colour and if I made the right choice. Before you purchase all these goodies, all these exciting things, get some investments, get some, get a property if you can instead. I know how much these cars can cost and they're not cheap in the slightest. Look after the people around you before you buy all these luxury goods. For me personally, before buying all these things, I'll always want to look after my family around me, look after everyone around me and do my best to support in other ways and after that I will then feel as though I can treat myself and that's how I've always been and that's how I always will be. If you can't tell already, I am driving to one of my property flips now where I'll answer a couple of questions that you have sent me, whether it's on Instagram or it is on my YouTube comments. So if you would like a full Q&A where it's the whole video answering all your questions then drop a like and of course down below write your questions and also send them over on Instagram if you prefer that but I'll see you all at the house We have now arrived at the property flip. Yes, there's a reason why my background doesn't look great, it's because the whole thing is stripping out. So we'll start off with the first one. How long have you been investing in property for? To be exact, it would be three years now, but of course, before that, there is a good period of learning, there's a good period of viewing properties, and then of course finally getting my first property investment. So there's a lot of things to do behind the scenes compared to what you'll see in front of the camera. What is your favourite property strategy? And if you've been watching my full series of different projects I have done, definitely flipping properties is my go-to. I have purely been flipping properties and almost just recycling my money over and over and over. That doesn't mean no other strategy is good, but for me, flipping properties, for me, is to just generate that extra income boost to be able to target my long-term goals, and that is, of course, to purchase land and to build from ground up. What's the cost of refurbishing a kitchen to a decent size? This can vary, of course, depending on, again, the size of the kitchen and the style of the kitchen and who you know. Reason being, because the kitchen cabinets can all have their fair share of cost 
but if I was to keep a good range, it would be between two and a half to, I'd say, three and a half slash four at a push. Usually if you speak to a builder, they should have a trade account. The longer you actually purchase kitchen from a certain supplier, the more discount they'll give over the long run. Does turning your loft into a bedroom add value? And this is a tricky one. I tried to answer it in the comments, but I need to explain it. If you're now removing a whole bedroom to be able to put a staircase to get to the loft, there is no point you're not going to add really any value. You're basically just moving that bedroom upstairs. It's not doing anything. If you're able to create a larger banister but still keep the number of bedrooms on the second floor and add a bedroom upstairs, then yes, you will be adding a very good amount of value. But ultimately, yes, you can add value to the loft. How many laborers do you use on the reaper? I have one builder who has everyone under his wing. But to give more of an exact number, so there will be three builders which will do the strip out and fittings of just everything in general. I'll have one, of course, as an electrician, one for the heating and plumbing. So all in all, there could be up to six or seven laborers who will be working on the project. And last but not least, where can you find the best deals? And yes, this is a question I get on a regular basis, but I do, supply a somewhat of a service. I haven't really put it out there, but if you do message me either on Instagram or in the comments below, I can help you basically find a project. And if you would like me to just find your project with your criteria personalized. But the best deals are basically right in front of you. Right moves and of course Zoom, like they're basically the same thing. Off market is always the best less drop offs etc if you can find a property in auction then even better but it all does come down to how you actually go about buying this property how quick you are how you got the finance ready and what position are you in but there we have it if you'd like to see a full q a with a lot more questions from yourselves put it down below let me know the questions down below or on instagram and I'll do a full Q&A question. I mean, I'm not sure if they're too personal. It's not get too personal, but there we have it. So you see my new car now. I've answered some of your questions. I hope you enjoyed this video. I've been Michael, aka Hacks. Don't.